Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm sharing how I made 15 cards using the Crafty Courtyard kit called Dragonfly Dreams from Pink and Main. This is one of their subscription kits that's from February of 2022. I have an unboxing video of this kit that I posted right after I got it and I will link this above so you can see the contents of the kit if you're interested. Now for today's cards I'm using this kit along with Kendra's Card Challenge 5. If you're not familiar with my quarterly card challenges, it's where you can create 15 cards with just six sheets of six by six pattern paper and other card stock and supplies, of course, using the cutting templates and card sketches that I provide in a free PDF download. It's like a one sheet wonder times six. Now I have a video explaining how the challenge works and I will link this in the description box below. This is a quarterly challenge that ends on March 31st. So there's just a few more days left to enter. A new challenge will begin on April 1st of 2022. Before we get started, I hope you'll take a moment to click on that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Now back in February, I joined Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner on my very first YouTube live stream where we created a few cards using this kit and Challenge 5. These are the cards that I made during the show. You can catch the replay and I, I will have that linked above here. This is using card sketch number 4. And I will put the card sketch in the top right hand corner of the screen so you can see what's on the PDF and what I'm referring to. But this is card sketch seven. I used the embossing folder that came in the kit on this aqua panel of cardstock and I placed that directly on the card base. And then this is card number 11. This is a shaker card. I used the rectangle die from Cat Scrappiness that's part of the Crafters Essential die set and the sequins came in the Crafty Courtyard kit. So now I'll show you the remaining 12 cards. Now I chose six sheets of the pattern paper from the kit and used the cutting templates to cut them up. And then I placed all of the pieces in some numbered cellophane bags by sketch number. I cut my mats for the layers out of matching colored cardstock, mostly using the cardstock that came in the Crafty Courtyard kit. Now I did all of this off camera, so now I'm gonna share how I put these together. So in addition to the contents of the Dragonfly Dreams Crafty Courtyard Kit, I used a few additional products from Pink and Main, plus some other supplies. And I will list these up on the screen the first time I use them. And I'll have them linked down below in the description box as well. Now some of these are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, I get a small percentage of the sale without any extra cost to you. This helps me to keep my channel going, and I really appreciate all of your support. So now I'm going to put on some music while I put the rest of these cards together and I hope you enjoy. I'll come back on at the end.
that was the last one. So here are all 15 cards that I made using the February 2022 Dragonfly Dreams Crafty Courtyard Kit from Pink and Main. I think these turned out really pretty. I just love the dragonflies and the floral patterns together. Let me know in the comments below which one you like the best. I want to thank the prize sponsors for Kendra's Card Challenge 5. Shortly after the challenge ends on March 31st, I will announce the winners here on my channel. There are eight prizes. And I'd also like to thank my channel patrons. This is a new membership program where patrons receive a handmade card from me each month, plus additional membership perks like early access to quarterly card challenges and additional free downloads. For more information, visit the Patreon link in the description box below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Also, follow me on other social media platforms for more card making inspiration. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.